Siege is a very old game, and throughout its long lifespan, a lot of crucial gameplay parts have been removed. The first of which being the bomber in Terrorist Hunt. This is something that is hold near and dear to every Siege player's heart, because the actual ability to kill terrorists was the core mechanic of what Siege was as an identity as a video game. The whole point of playing Siege is that you're a counter-terrorist unit that's training against other counter-terrorists if you're on attack to defense or defense to attack. Going into terrorist hunts actually allowed you to kill actual terrorists, which was the only place you could do what the lore stated you were supposed to be doing. And them taking away the T-Hunt bomber made a huge part of the realistic siege identity just completely go away. They were really annoying to kill because you had to actually put multiple headshots into their head to kill them. They could suicide bomb into you and it take absolutely zero skill, which made them a lot more lethal than the other terrorists who actually couldn't shoot you back because their aims were like stormtroopers. And the only other way you could really counter them was with like EMPs, and then they just couldn't explode their bombs, but even then they were just scary to deal with until you got like really really good at countering them. Which was kind of just like a little fun nostalgic part of the game, it was something that you just dealt with as a player because it was just a part of Siege's identity, which unfortunately is no longer the case. Not only because they removed the T-Hunt bomber, but also, they removed T-Hunt entirely. After they removed the bombers from Terrorist Hunt was the only actual semblance of countering terrorists in Siege that they had left before they removed it. It was the only part that actually had terrorists in it. The only part. Now, without T-Hunt, Siege isn't about countering terrorists. It's about just training against defensive operators or defensive operators training against their attacking buddies. It's all it is. It's just a training simulator. You don't actually go against any terrorists, you don't rescue hostages from people who actually have them, there's no high stakes, it's just a multiplayer game that caters towards the pro scene. That's all it is. And when they removed T-Hunt, they solidified that in place, because you were actually going against terrorists. They'd set up the map automatically, putting rooms full of barbed wire, they'd shoot you back, they'd have really funny voice lines that you could listen to, they were in character, they all wore masks, there were posters around all the maps that were really adjacent to the ideals that they had. It was just a good core part of the actual lore behind Siege. And you can't tell me they don't care about the lore, because every time a new operator comes out, they have an entire page just dedicated to who the operator is, where they came from, this, this, and that. They still work on the comics, they work on animation, so the fact that they took this out of the game is still weird to me because it's part of the game's identity. Something else that you might have thought was a part of the game's identity were ACOGs, and they have removed a lot of ACOGs in the game. They've removed ACOGs off of Jaeger and Bandit, which still, to this day, don't have ACOGs. They removed ACOGs off of a bunch of attacking operators, which actually they recently brought back, but they still took it out in the first place. And one that breaks my heart is they took away the ACOGs off the SMG-11. That's right, the SMG-11 used to have ACOGs, whether it be on Mute, Smoke, any attacking operator that had an SMG-11, you name it, it used to have an ACOG. This was not at all viable to use, because it's an SMG with an ACOG, but it it was just fun. Like, I wanted to be able to spawn peek with my SMG-11 ACOG on smoke. Why did they take that from me? Why did they take that from me? I want it back! Anyways, they took away a bunch of ACOGs not only on the SMG-11 and on Bandit and on Jaeger, but on a bunch of other operators that didn't really need the ACOG to be taken away. The whole point of them doing it was to stop spawn peeking and aggressive play, but they could have gone about that in many different ways without taking away the ACOGs, which I think they actually realized, and that's why they reinstated them back in Year 9 Season 1. But they still took it away in the first place, which is why I felt the need to put it on this list. Another thing that they took away that they didn't actually end up adding back was the ability to cook frag grenades. This made it to where if you hold down the frag grenade in your hand, the longer you hold it down, the faster it would explode. And if you held it down for too long, you'd actually die. The grenade would explode in your hands. Not only was this realistic, but a lot of FPS games, AAA FPS games, had implemented this into their gameplay. And it was something that they knew worked as a gameplay loop. So them taking it away to some people people might not make sense, but unlike a lot of the other changes on this list, I actually agree with this one. I think it was a healthy change. A few years ago, TSM won the Major, and when TSM won the Major, they specifically showed off just how powerful cooking frag grenades could be if you cooked them below a floor to an unsuspecting enemy. 
And that's the thing, the enemy was always unsuspecting. There was no possible way to counter being grenaded through the floor, especially if they had a ping on you. You just kind of had to not be moving at that given time. It was really luck based and there wasn't any counterplay. So they took away the ability to do that. And now you can't below cook nades anymore, which I think is pretty healthy because like I said, it was just uncounterable. And the amount of times they were doing it to people in pro league and it was the entire reason that they won pro league. Like, it was just unhealthy. It was really, really just unhealthy. So I think taking it away made a lot of sense. Are grenades less powerful now than they were before? Absolutely. But I think they needed to be. Now, instead of running grenades, sometimes I'll run smokes on glass or I'll run EMPs on OSA instead of running grenades on either of those operators. And it makes other gadgets more viable because of the nerf. So I actually do think it was a good change, but it was a change nonetheless, and that's why I put it in this video. Now that was a pretty common change that most people know about. A change that you might not know even happened in the first place was Glaz's non-thermal scope being removed. As you know right now, Glaz has a thermal scope, correct? But when he was released, Glaz didn't have a thermal scope. His entire ability as an operator was just the fact that he had a more zoomed in scope than the other operators, which kind of funny considering now everybody brings three times scopes on DMRs, but you get the idea. The entire point of Glaz was just that he had a zoomed in scope. He didn't have a thermal scope. That only happened after a few years of Glass being out, which is insane to think about because even me as a Siege content creator who's been playing this game for so long, when I think of Glass, I think of Glass being a thermal scope operator. That's the entire point of it, right? But it wasn't always that way. Glass didn't always have a thermal scope. It was just a more zoomed in scope, which is kind of crazy. It also made the entire scope and everything in it just look red, which I thought was pretty cool. But they ended up taking that away in favor for the new scope that he has, which is thermal that he has now. Something Something else that they replaced but they had to take out of the game in the first place was the old knife animation. When you would use your knife in the air to knife a player or just to knife anything, you would use your left hand of your knife in a circle. You would just cut across the entire screen kind of like you were just flailing it around. It wasn't too realistic and it didn't really make much sense. So they replaced it with the knife animation that we have now which is you using your left hand to actually stab somebody which is much more effective. A lot of people miss the old knife animation because it is nostalgic and I do completely agree it is nostalgic but i don't think it's realistic and the whole point of siege at least used to be is that it's a realistic shooter and stabbing somebody is just going to do so much more damage also if you know that you're stabbing it makes it a lot more accurate as to where exactly you're knifing something like if i want to knife a hole in the wall having it knife exactly on a dot is much more accurate to me and just feels better than just swiping and then seeing a hole appear somewhere so i think the new knife animation is pretty cool and a lot better than the old knife animation. Something else that I think is way better than what it used to be, and I'm glad has been removed, is the five second run out detection time. Now, old heads in Siege remember the good old days when you had two seconds of run out detection time. If you don't know what this is, run out detection time is the amount of time that the game gives you before you're detected when you run out of the building as a defender. Right now, it's, I'm pretty sure one second, correct me on that in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure right now it's one second and it used to be two seconds, but I bet you didn't know that before it was two seconds it was actually five seconds so you used to be able to run into people's spawn before they even detected you you could run all the way into their spawn especially on maps like outback where the spawn is super close to the building you could be in their spawn as they're leaving and you wouldn't be detected they would have no idea that you're there but you would know that they're there because obviously they spawned there right so it was just super overpowered it wasn't in the game for long i'm glad they removed it when they did actually no it was in the game for pretty long like it was in the game for a good amount of time but it was way too overpowered way too overpowered so super super glad that they took that out of the game because you could just run out with jaeger acog or run out as a three speed be in their spawn and they wouldn't even have time to react they would close tiktok and you'd already have killed them or i guess they didn't have tiktok back then didn't they damn that's crazy how far we've come Someone else that's come pretty far is recruit if you don't know they removed the way that recruit used to work in this update, Operation New Blood, and now you have a new recruit rework, but this isn't actually the first time that recruit has been reworked. The old recruit, as you know, it was actually a recruit rework of a different recruit. It was pretty much more or less the exact same as the old recruit before Operation New Blood, just slightly a bit different. You actually were able to customize your loadout a lot more, and because recruit was more customizable people used recruit in pro league people use it in ranked and it was actually kind of overpowered in the higher level so they ended up nerfing recruit and taking out the old recruit for the old recruit that you're thinking of uh, and now they took that out for the operation new blood recruit that we have right now so old recruit as we knew it back then is just completely gone forever which pains me to say something that pains me way more to say though is the fact that they took away tachanka's turret 
if you don't know, the Tachanka that we have right now is a rework. You probably do know that, but what you might not know about the Tachanka rework is before he got reworked, he had a turret that actually is a better ability than what we have now. You could deploy this turret in the prep phase, and then you could get on the turret and then have a huge turret with a deployable shield in front of your face that would block bullets that you could shoot people from. And the pure amount of damage that this turret did was absolutely insane. Its fire rate wasn't too terrible, it had absolutely zero recoil, you could be behind the deployable shield and be completely safe, the magazine size was incomprehensible to what we have now, so his LMG was just crazy. It wasn't good, like F tier operator for sure, but I feel like Tachanka's ability now is worse than it was back then. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, but I definitely believe that the new Tachanka is worse than the old Tachanka, and I'm really, really sad that the Tachanka turret that we used to know is completely gone forever. Now, this, because of how controversial it is, you might already know about, but something that slipped under the radar one day was Siege taking out the ability to switch your firing modes. If you didn't know on any single weapon in Rainbow Six Siege, with a select you not being on that list, you were able to press a button on your keyboard and change your weapon from doing automatic fire to burst fire to semi-automatic firing. So, for example, if you were running Sledge AR, instead of holding down M1 to shoot bullets, you could just press M1 and you would shoot three bullets in a burst fire instead. And if you press your ability button again, or not your ability button, the, the, the fire button, excuse me, if you press that again, it would only shoot one bullet at a time. So you could turn any gun that you wanted to into a DMR or a burst rifle. It was pretty cool, especially on guns like the F2, where the recoil is pretty hard to control unless you're burst firing or the smg 11 for that instance so like the ability to change your firing mode from automatic to burst to semi-automatic was actually kind of helpful and people started to abuse it which is why they took it out but unless you were abusing it at the high level you weren't using it if you were an average player or at the low level so not only was it not being used by the majority of the player base but when it was being used at the highest level it was a little broken so that's why they ended up taking it out i don't like it because like i kind of like the immersion of it but other than that i do think it was a good change something else that i think was a great change that they removed is zofia with stand now, you might not think this is a good change that they removed it, but I could not disagree more. I think the ability to self-revive yourself as Zofia just because you played Zofia is kind of a bit overpowered. The fact that you can just have this innate passive ability because you picked an operator doesn't really sit right with me. Now, there are some operators where it does make sense. For instance, if you're playing smoke, you can breathe in your own smoke canisters. That makes sense because it opens up potential outplay potential when you sit inside of your smoke canister with a shotgun and you swing people, right? But it's actual skill involved with that. And a lot of the times you won't find yourself sitting in your smoke grenade because you're throwing it at people, you're not throwing it at yourself, right? So it was an innate passive that made sense lore-wise. It made made sense gameplay wise it gave you an advantage only if you were tactical with it and you weren't using it all the time and it wasn't giving you an overpowered advantage right Zofia withstand did do that you would be able to just revive yourself no matter what it was like having rook armor permanently it did take a lot of time but there were times where you would win entire rounds that you should not have won just because you were able to withstand and not only was this a ranked issue but it was always a pro league issue as well it lost a lot of teams not only rounds but entire games and tournaments due to Zofia withstand and and the community just wasn't really happy with what it was, so it ended up getting removed. Something that was not at all overpowered though, that did end up getting removed regardless, was the old diffuse animation. What you see now when you diffuse the bomb is you pull out a diffuse diffuser. You're diffusing the diffuser when you diffuse the bomb. It's, I don't know what to call it, you kind of just diffuse the diffuser with a little screen with all the little lines that light up. You get the idea. That, you, you didn't always have that. You used to literally get your gun and smash the shit out of the attacker diffuser. <laughs> that, that's what you used to be able to do. That was the diffusing animation. You'd grab your gun and you just whack, whack, whack on the diffuser. That's it. Now you pull this little gadget and you hack it like a mute jammer. It's all realistic, future tech, whatever. You, you used to be able to just giga chad and just smack it with a gun. That's it. But they took it out in favor of what we have today, which is kind of sad because it, it looked kind of funny and it would always glitch out and not look quite right. And it was just kind of part of the game. Whatever. I'm a nostalgia warlord. You get the idea. They took out this animation and I'm not happy about it. Now something that I'm <laughs> way, way more happy that they took out though is the one point five times scope this scope out of any scope in the entirety of rainbow six siege was the best scope in the entire game hands down everyone agreed this scope was overpowered 
Here's the reason why. Let's say that you're picking an operator like Twitch and you're playing her DMR. You have the option of picking every single scope in the game. However, each scope comes with its ups and downs to make things fair. The 1x scope you could pick, but if you're taking long range gunfights, running a 1x scope will allow you to zoom in and see people as well, so you might lose that gunfight. Running a 2.5 might be nice, but if you're up close and personal, it's going to be useless. Running a 3x might be nice on longer range maps because you can see all the way into sight from all the way outside of bank lobby, but again, if you go close range, you just don't get to have a fair time. The 1.5 times scope didn't have a single downside as a scope at all. You could take a close range gunfights because it wasn't too zoomed in, or you can take long range gunfights because it wasn't too zoomed out. Also, the actual reticle of this scope wasn't invasive. It was a small reticle. It was just a dot with a circle in the middle. That's all it was. So you still had a bunch of room in the actual glass of the scope that you could use to see people, which is really, really nice. If you want to know what I'm talking about, let's take a look at like the hollow D, for example. That scope sucks, not really because of the shape of the scope, but because the crosshair is so big and complex that it takes up all of the glass and you can't see the person you're shooting. The 1.5 had the opposite of this issue. You could see everything and there was barely a crosshair that you had to look at, which made it overpowered as if it wasn't overpowered enough. It was just a crazy good Good scope that was way too versatile everyone was using it entire operators were being balanced and they were seen as good or bad if they had the scope or not it was that important it was that crucial which is why i'm so so glad it got removed and the scope that was almost just as close in terms of power that also got removed is the 2x scope the 2x scope wasn't quite as powerful as the 1.5 simply due to two reasons one the actual crosshair was a bit more invasive you had random lines that were going pretty much everywhere uh, there, there was more crosshair color towards the middle where you needed to shoot people so that balanced it out a little bit and also it was slightly more zoomed in than the 1.5 meaning close range gunfights were actually a bit hard to take so it was a more balanced version of the 1.5 but still if you had to pick a 2x versus a hollow or an ACOG you're picking the 2x every single time just because it's a little bit less zoomed in than the ACOG so you still could take close range gunfights it was just a little bit more uncomfortable but it was still viable whereas with the 2.5 or the 3.5 that we have now it's not viable you can't do it that's why you switch to your secondary or you just kind of hit fire if they're like point blank on top of you right with the 2x scope you didn't really have to do that you could take the gunfight no matter what distance you were at sure it was a little more uncomfortable but it was still super viable to do which is why again i'm glad they also removed the 2x scope because if it weren't for the 1.5 the 2x was just going to take the throne of the 1.5 left over so i'm also glad they removed that scope and the 1.5 and replace it with the scope system that we have right now now the final rainbow six siege item that is completely gone forever isn't a scope and it isn't an animation it's an actual in-game ability and that was the ella mine that automatically went off when you would get downed as ella so just like zofia had an innate passive ability that would happen when you get downed her sister on the defensive side ella also had an innate passive when you would get down but instead of you being able to revive yourself you would be able to remote detonate an ella mine in the attacker's face so if there was an attacker that downed you you detonate the ella mine and boom they're stunned this was not nearly as powerful as the Zofia withstand because if you're down chances are you're gonna get shot immediately and you won't have time to detonate it because there was a cooldown before you could also if you're down and you stun somebody it doesn't matter because you can't kill them off of the stun so the only thing the stun would actually do was make it easier for your teammates to shoot them and kill them it didn't actually do anything for you and if no one was around to refrag it was just kind of useless it was only used for a sound cue but because they took away Zofia's and she still had one lore wise and just gameplay logic wise it didn't really make sense to keep ella's and no one really used it it wasn't very powerful so they just got rid of it all together because like it, it like it's like the heal spell in clash royale no one fucking used it okay <laughs> no one used ella mines when down okay so they just took it out of the game it is what it is but with it out of the way my name's Alka. check out this next video and that's it for today's one later